now looking for sunny skies this Friday. Let's check in with Storm Track 3 meteorologist Garrett Hamilton. Well, you certainly are going to find a lot of sunshine as we go throughout the day. Starting out our Friday morning, we're taking a quick check at the radar, not even seeing a cloud on our satellite and radar this morning. So we are going to see quite a bit of mild weather as we go throughout much of the morning hours. Lots of sunshine is on tap for the afternoon, so it is going to be an absolutely fantastic day for your Friday. But as we get into the weekend, we are tracking several chances for showers and storms, a few of which could be on the stronger side. But right now, we're seeing sunny skies across Carbondale and across Benton in Metropolis and in Mount Vernon. As you're headed out the door early this morning, temperatures are generally trending to be into the upper 50s around Cape Girardeau, coming in at 58, and for Perryville as well at 58 degrees, 60 for Carbondale, 64 for Marion, and 62 for Poplar Bluff. As we go throughout the rest of our Friday, we should be getting into the mid to upper 60s by 8 a.m., 76 by about 10 a.m., and then by the time we make it to about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, we are going to see temperatures likely top out in the mid to upper 80s. Some of us may make it to near 90 degrees today because of all the sunshine that we are expecting. So it is going to be an absolutely beautiful Friday. However, as we get into the weekend, you are going to want to keep the Storm Track 3 app handy because we are keeping an eye on several systems that are going to be working their way through our region. Now for tomorrow, we already have a level one risk of severe weather, which includes all of southern Illinois and southeastern Missouri, as well as most of western Kentucky. This is because we could see one or two storms produce some damaging winds, small hail, and some localized flash flooding can't entirely be ruled out. So we'll go ahead and walk you through the timing on what you can expect. We're already at Saturday at midnight. Most of us are still going to be dry through Friday night and through early, early Saturday morning. But once we get into about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, we're going to start to notice some storms develop over Missouri, and those are going to track off towards the east. And by 5 a.m., they are going to be entering our region. And they're going to slowly track from northwest to southeast as we go through the early morning hours. By 10 o'clock on Saturday morning, a lot of us are going to be getting in on some dry time and temperatures that are going to be trending in the lower 70s. We are going to see some sunshine as we get into the afternoon hours, which is going to help us warm up. Now, across parts of southern Illinois, I think we may only top out tomorrow in the low to mid 80s mid to upper 80s further towards the south, and that's because we should see a boundary set up across parts of central Missouri and into far southern Illinois, and that is where we're going to have to keep an eye on for some storms to form as we go throughout tomorrow afternoon. We could be talking about some storms forming at around 8 o'clock across parts of central Missouri, and these storms are going to track off towards the south and towards the east, and by midnight early Sunday morning, we could see a few of those storms on top of southern Illinois. So overall, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of storm activity as we get into Saturday, but we're going to likely see those storms last through early Sunday morning before drying out for Sunday afternoon. And when all is said and done, we could see one to three inches across parts of southeastern Missouri, a little bit less further off towards the north. But of course, that is going to be highly dependent on where those heavier showers and storms do set up across much of the area. If we do see some dry time, Saturday is going to be fairly nice with highs running around 85, 78 for Sunday with partly cloudy skies. We should see a lot of dry time as we get into the afternoon hours on Sunday. We'll also be dry for some periods of time on Saturday in between those two rounds of showers and storms. But overall, today we're going to be seeing a temperature of about 86 degrees, 85 for tomorrow. Remember, on the south side of that boundary, we may get close to 90 degrees. On the north side of that boundary, we may only top out in the upper 70s and lower 80s. 78 for Sunday and for Monday. We are looking at the low 90s returning, though, for next weekend. Well, we're going to have to get through some showers next week, yes. but at least those aren't 100%. Looks mm -hmm. like we'll be dodging some raindrops. Yes, yeah, then miss showers and storms for sure. All right, thanks a lot, Garrett.